Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here today. It's a very chilly and snowy day outside. Nothing better to do than to come down to the dungeon and make a new video. And this is in case some of you missed last Saturday's live stream where I demonstrated how to achieve a perfectly centered image onto a given size piece of paper. Now, as you can see here, this margin is narrower than this margin. This margin, however, is a little bit different than this margin as well. And this I did on Lightroom. I told it to create a cell size that was exactly half inch smaller all around, but yet it is not centered. And then I did something else. I did an adjustment and guess what? Everything is centered. If you want to learn how to do that, stay tuned. Okay, we are now inside of Lightroom. And as you can see, I have a letter size document open, but my image does not seem to be centered the way I want it. I want it with a quarter inch border all the way around. So traditionally, we would go ahead and create a cell size that would be half inch all around in height and in width. So let's go ahead and set it to 10.5 and the width to eight inches wide and wait a minute it's still not centered my upper border seems to be a lot narrower than my lower border and is this really a quarter inch i really do not know okay let's adjust our margins wait a second oh they are at the minimum i cannot bring them down any further i wonder why well this is a limitation that is built in it's either built into Lightroom or built into the driver itself. Side borders are equal. Top border is narrower than the lower border. So there is no way that I can actually center this with equal, say, eighth inch wide borders all the way around. It would be impossible. There's no way that I can reduce these minimal margins any further than what I am being shown here. Now, there is a workaround, and this is the secret to this. We'll go to our page setup. We are using the Canon Pro 1000 for this demonstration. We will click on Properties and click on Borderless. Now, for those of you who wonder why this warning always seems to pop up every time we choose Borderless Printing, it's because they need to cover their you-know-what. You have selected Borderless Printing. The document to be printed is enlarged so that it slightly extends off the paper, meaning the edge of the paper. Print quality may deteriorate or the sheet may be stained at the top and bottom. That's leading and trailing edges, depending on the type of media use. Uh oh, why would anybody want to choose that setting? Well, because people want borderless. Now, the secret to getting a perfect borderless is to print it on a slightly larger sheet of paper. That way you end up with borders. You're not cropping anything off of the original image crop that you created. And you can just trim it right to the edges and you'll get a perfect result without any kind of artifacting of the head strikes maybe possibly happening. Maybe the paper slightly curled. Maybe you get some smearing due to the lack of holding down the paper in the leading and trailing edges. That happens and that is why they include that warning. So be aware of that, guys. So, okay, so we have clicked on borderless printing. We wonder, why are we doing that? Well, the reason is obvious, because nothing happens. Now, actually, something does happen. Watch. I can now bring my margins down to nothing. And lo and behold, I have a quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch, and quarter inch. And if you saw the beginning of my video, you saw that beautiful result. And that is all you have to do. Now, imagine I want to make this, say, an eighth of an inch. Now, eighth of an inch is beyond the limitation normally forced upon you by the driver or this particular layout program. Okay, now say we need to have an eighth of an inch border. Now, that would be impossible under the previous conditions. Well, let's go ahead and try it. Why not, right? So we're going to reduce this even further. 10.75 should be correct. And 8. 
25. I can't believe I figured that out in my head. So as you can see, we have a nice eighth inch border, eighth inch border, eighth inch border, and eighth inch border. Now the problem you're gonna come into is that the placement of the paper on these printers is not as accurate as we would wish it would be. That is why when you print borderless, edge to edge, the image is actually expanded beyond the edges, beyond the edges. Why? Because of the problem that you encounter with borderless printing and the paper placement. So you may end up, if you create an image that is say four by six and print it borderless onto a four by six piece of paper and you do not expand it beyond the edges, you will very likely get a little sliver of white somewhere along one of the borders, maybe one or two borders in fact. So you need to expand the image beyond the edges. That way it takes into account any of the errors. And as you can see here, I have lots of room to spare. Why? I have zoom to fill. My image ratio does not match eight and a half by 11 at all. So I have to zoom to fill in order to be able to get that eighth inch border all the way around. Otherwise it would be impossible. This is one of the biggest questions and biggest puzzles that affects most people who are printing images. They don't understand image ratio versus paper ratio. There's no way around this folks. You have to zoom to fill or you have to pre-crop your image to the correct dimensions or ratio. So that is it. If I want a half inch border, I will simply change the dimensions so that they are an inch smaller all around. And as you can see, I have a beautiful half inch border. Now let's go ahead and try another paper size. One of the most popular giveaway type paper size is of course four by six. Now if I click on zoom to fill, nothing happens. You know why? Because the image has been expanded and my image ratio is pretty much four to six anyway. So let's go ahead and undo our magic borderless printing and you can see immediately that now I am not filling the cell even, even if I expand the cell to maximum, which is already at max. I cannot lower the margins any more than I have them set at. As you can see, my lower border is hugely wider than my upper border. If this was supposed to be a landscape photo, you would not really get a good result. As you can see, even if you zoom to fill, you still have a drastically narrower upper border, or in this case would be a left border if this was landscape, and a right border or lower border that's almost twice the size. So the only way to achieve this, of course, is to use borderless printing. So we'll click on that again. We'll get that nice warning. We shall ignore it. And now I can lower all of my margins where I couldn't do it prior to setting the borderless setting on the driver. So now I have equal borders. We'll go ahead and set them at say uh, five and a half and three and a half. And now we have a quarter inch border all the way around. We can actually change that to say five, seven, five as well as 375. And now we have an eighth inch border all the way around. And again, keep in mind that this may not print exactly the way you see it because of that paper positioning error that every printer has. There's no way that you can position a piece of paper exactly to within a micron. There's no way you can do that. It will always differ a little bit. It will always feed slightly different. So when you get down to very narrow borders, it's gonna be very difficult to achieve perfection. You're going to get close, but it's never going to be perfect. But this is the way that you can at least get visually equal borders all the way around. All right, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, share, and like, of course. And until the next time, happy printing, everybody. Bye-bye.